Muscogean, also Muscogean, Muscogee, is an indigenous language family of the southeastern United States. Though there is an ongoing debate concerning their interrelationships, the Muscogean languages are generally divided into two branches, Eastern Muscogean and Western Muscogean. They are agglutinative languages. Although only one language is extinct, Appalachian, all surviving languages are critically endangered. Genetic relationships Family division The Muscogean family consists of six languages which are still spoken, Alabama, Chickasaw, Choctaw, Creek Seminole, Coazati, and Mikasuki, as well as the now extinct Appalachian, Homa, and Hitchiti. The last is generally considered a dialect of Mikasuki. Seminole is listed as one of the Muscogean languages in Hardy's list, but it is generally considered a dialect of Creek rather than a separate language, as she comments Hardy 2005-70, see also Mythen 2005-462, Crawford. The major subdivisions of the family have long been controversial, but the following lower-level groups are universally accepted, Choctaw Chickasaw, Alabama Coazati, Hitchiti Mikasuki, and Creek Seminole. Because Appalachia is extinct, its precise relationship to the other languages is uncertain. Mary Haas and Pamela Monroe both classify it with the Alabama Coazati group. Haas's classification For connections among these groupings, the traditional classification is that of Mary Haas and her students, such as Karen Booker, in which Western Muscogean Choctaw Chickasaw is seen as one major branch, and Eastern Muscogean, Alabama Coazati, Hitchiti Mikasuki, and Creek Seminole as another. Within Eastern Muscogean, Alabama Coazati and Hitchiti Mikasuki are generally thought to be more closely related to each other than to Creek Seminole. That classification is reflected in the list below. Western Muscogean, Chickasaw, Choctaw, also called Chata, Chacado. Eastern Muscogean Creek Seminole, also called Muscogee, Mascoke, Seminole Hitchiti Mikasuki, also called Mikasuki Appalachian Alabama Coazati Appalachian Alabama, also called Alabamu Coazati, also called Cushada Monroe's classification a more recent and controversial classification has been proposed by Pamela Monroe. In her classification, the languages are divided into a Southern Muscogean branch, Choctaw Chickasaw, Alabama Coazati, and Hitchiti Mikasuki, and a Northern Muscogean, one Creek Seminole. Southern Muscogean is the subdivided into Hitchiti Mikasuki and a Southwestern Muscogean branch containing Alabama Coazati and Western Muscogean, Choctaw Chickasaw. The classification is reflected in the list below. Northern Muscogean, Creek Seminole, Southern Muscogean, Hitchiti Mikasuki, Southwestern Muscogean, Appalachian, Alabama Coazati, Alabama Coazati. Western Muscogean Chickasaw Choctaw Kimball's classification A third proposed classification is that of Jeffrey Kimball, who envisions a three-way split among the languages, with Western Muscogean Choctaw Chickasaw Eastern Muscogean Creek Seminole, and Central Muscogean Alabama Coazati and Hitchiti Mikasuki. However, Kimball's classification has not received as much support as either Haas's or Monroe's. Broader relationships Possible Muscogean languages Several sparsely attested languages have been claimed to be Muscogean languages. George Broadwell suggested that the languages of the Yamasee and Gwale were Muscogean. However, William Sturtevant argued that the Yamasee and Gwale 
Data were Creek and that the languages spoken by the Yamasi and Gwale people remain unknown. It is possible that the Yamasi were an amalgamation of several different ethnic groups and did not speak a single language. Chester B. de Prater describes the Yamasi as consisting mainly of speakers of Hichiti and Gwale. The historian Stephen Otis also describes the Yamasi as an ethnically mixed group that included people from Muscogean speaking regions, such as the early colonial era native towns of Hichiti, Coeta, and Cusita. The Pensacola and Chatot or Chacado people are reported to have spoken the same Muscogean language, which may have been closely related to Choctaw. Sparse evidence indicates that a Muscogean language was spoken by at least some of the people of the paramount chiefdom of Kofitachequi in northeastern South Carolina. If so, that would be the most eastern outpost of Muscogean. The people of Kofitichiki were probably absorbed by nearby Suan and Iroquoian speakers in the late 17th century. A vocabulary of the Homa may be another underdocumented western Muscogean language or a version of Mobilian jargon. Mobilian jargon is a pidgin based on western Muscogean. Gulf the best known connection proposed between Muscogean and other languages is Mary Haas Gulf hypothesis, in which she conceived of a macrofamily comprising Muscogean and a number of language isolates of the southeastern U.S., Atakapa, Chitimacha, Tunica, and Natchez. While well known, the Gulf grouping is now generally rejected by historical linguists. A number of Muscogean scholars continue to believe that Muscogean is related to Natchez. Features phonology Proto-Muscogean is reconstructed as having the consonants given in IPA transcription, the phonemes reconstructed by Haas as asterisk X and asterisk X show up as H and F or th, respectively. In all Muscogean languages, they are therefore reconstructed by some as asterisk H and asterisk th, asterisk K appears as B in all the daughter languages except Creek for which it is K initially and P medially. The value of the protophoneme conventionally written theta or n is unknown. It appears as n in Western Muscogean languages and as t in Eastern Muscogean languages. Haas reconstructed it as a voiceless n, that is, asterisk, n, based partly on presumed cognates and natches. Nouns most family languages display lexical accent on nouns and grammatical case which distinguishes the nominative from the oblique. Nouns do not obligatorily inflect for gender or number. Verbs Muscogean verbs have a complex oblaut system, the verbal stem almost always changes depending on aspect, less commonly, it is affected by tense or modality. In Muscogean linguistics, the different forms are known as grades, verbs mark for first and second person, as well as agent and patient, Choctaw also marks for dative. Third persons, he, she, it have a null marker. Plurality of a noun agent is marked by either affixation on the verb or an innately plural verbal stem, pluralization via affixation, Choctaw, Ishimpa ish impa tu sg, nami, u sg, eat, hashimpa hash impa tu pita liters, nami, u place, eat, innately numbered verbal stems, mikasuki, linik run. Sg to run, singular, palak run. Paucal to run, several, matak run. Place to run, many, notes external links Muscogean language family page at native-languages.org Chickasaw language information and videos, Chickasaw, TV bibliography Booker, Karen, 2005. Muscogean Historical Phonology, in Hardy and Scansarelli 2005, pp. 246-298. Broadwell, George Aaron, 1992. Reconstructing Proto-Muscogean Language and Prehistory, Preliminary Results, PDF. Paper presented at the Southern Anthropological Society, St. Augustine, F.L. Retrieved on 3 May 2009. Campbell, Lyle, 1997. American Indian Languages, The Historical Linguistics of Native America. New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-509427-1. Coker, William S. 1999. Pensacola, 1686 to 1821. In Judith Ann Bentz, 1999. Editor. Archaeology of Colonial Pensacola. University Press of Florida. ISBN 0-8130-1661-4. Found at Google Books. Crawford, James M. Ed. 1975A. Studies in Southeastern Indian Languages. Athens, Georgia. University of Georgia Press. Crawford, James M. 1975b. Southeastern Indian Languages. In Crawford, ed. 1975 pp. 1-120.
Goddard, Ives, ed. 1996. Languages. Handbook of North American Indians, W. C. Sturtevant, General Ed., Vol. 17. Washington, D.C., Smithsonian Institution. ISBN 0-16-048774-9. Haas, Mary, 1951. The Proto-Gulf Word for Water, with notes on Sue and Yuchi. International Journal of American Linguistics 17-71-79. Haas, Mary, 1952. The Proto-Gulf Word for Land, with notes on proto suan International Journal of American Linguistics 18-238-240. Haas, Mary, 1973. The Southeast. In T. A. Sebiak, ed., Linguistics in North America, Part 2, pp. 1210-1249. The Hague, Mouton. Hardy, Heather, 2005. Introduction. In Hardy and Scansarelli 2005, pp. 69-74. Hardy, Heather and Janine Scansarelli, 2005. Native Languages of the Southeastern United States. Lincoln, Nebraska, University of Nebraska Press. Hopkins, Nicholas A. The Native Languages of the Southeastern United States, PDF. Report for the Foundation for the Advancement of Mesoamerican Studies, Inc. Retrieved on 3 May 2009. Martin, Jack B. and Pamela Monroe, 2005. Proto-Muscogean Morphology, in Hardy and Scansarelli eds pp. 299-320 Milanich, Gerald T., 1995. Florida Indians and the Invasion from Europe. Gainesville, F.L., University Press of Florida. ISBN 0-8130-1360-7 Marianne, 1999. The Languages of Native North America. Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. ISBN 0-521-23228-7, HBK, ISBN 0-521-29875-X. Sebiak, Thomas A., ed., 1973. Linguistics in North America, Parts 1 and 2. Current Trends in Linguistics, Volume 10. The Hague, Mouton, reprinted as Sebiak 1976. Sturtevant, William C., ed., 1978 present. Handbook of North American Indians, Volume 1 to 20. Washington, D.C., Smithsonian Institution, Vols. 1 to 3, 16, 18 to 20, not yet published. Sturtevant, William C., 1994. The Misconnection of Gwale and Yamasi with Muscogean. International Journal of American Linguistics 60 to 139 minus 148. Swanton, John Reed, 1952. The Indian Tribes of North America. Found at Google Books.